Hey guys, it's D, and I want to really stress to you guys, and this is not a dig towards anyone, it's not an attack, it's not in an attempt to make you feel small or feel bad. I just really want to educate you guys on synergy. Um, as I always tell you guys, my formulations are synergistically formulated to facilitate healing. So in order to be able to heal, I always suggest that your skin is clean before using our products. And what I mean by clean is not, oh, you just washed your hair with some random shampoo before using. Clean means your scalp needs, your scalp and your skin needs to be 100% free of any other products. So you need to clarify wash your scalp. Clarifying will strip any products off of your scalp um, so that our products can fully penetrate so that you can get 100% of the benefits of our products. So you can't just do some random wash. You actually need to clarify and get all of that product build up, all of these petroleums and things that we have been using for years off of our scalps. And I made that post last night specifically so you guys can see that you've actually been using products that do more harm than good. So things like uh, petroleum-based things, um, and I have some examples here and I actually want to show you, but I want to help you understand the definitions. You have things that absorb and you have things that repel. When you talk about synergy, there are certain things that bind to one another, meaning that they combine, they work well together, and that word, that universal word for that um, perfect harmony or combination is called synergy. Everything does not bind well together. Some things actually repel others. Because like I said, you have things that absorb and you have things that repel. So here I want to show you guys a few things. I have petroleum. This is aquaphor. And uh, like there are a lot of products that use petroleum. But petroleum is a repellent. It does not absorb. I also have this other, it's called Eucerin. I actually picked up the wrong item one day because I actually used their, um, their lotion. They have like a, a lotion that's water-based. And this actually says that it's water-based, but they may have like one drop of water in here. So their ingredients are a lie. Um, because it says petroleum mineral oil, both of those are repellents. Do you see how thick this liquid, this was well, not even a liquid. You see how thick this cream is? That's an indication that it's not really, it's not water-based. They may have water in it. I kind of doubt it, but it's, it doesn't have, it doesn't contain enough water to be to absorb. Now, we're talking molecular level here. Cellular and molecular level. So I have these paper towels which have to act as skin today, even though it's not, you know, it, it wouldn't be 100% what, it gives you a good visual of what I'm talking about. Let's just say that. And then we have my healing oil and we have my moisturizer. Okay, so when you talk about healing, um, if you were, if you had a cut, you would probably wash it with water or, you know, let water run over it. And then next you might spray some alcohol, right? And then you will put the number one healing um, ointment on it, which would be what? Neosporin or something like Aquaphor, right? So... That gives you the perfect example of things that absorb and things that repel. So the purpose of the aquaphor, after you, you cleanse the cut and then you spray the alcohol or hydrogen peroxide, 
those things are going to actually penetrate that wound and then you will use the neosporin or the petroleum based product aquaphor or whatever and you will put that over the cut so that it will seal everything out of that wound therefore anything else that you use after the petroleum based product is going to repel it's going to bead off of that like water it's going to keep the sweat out of that cut it's going to keep the dirt out of that cut that is the purpose of anything petroleum based it is to keep things out guys i need you to really understand that everything that you put on after you apply something petroleum based is going to keep things out so if you are using sulfur aid do grow wild growth any of that those other oils and then there are some natural oils that don't work in synergy with my products so i i just need you guys to understand that like there's never been anything like this healing oil in the history of the world because if it had we did you know we've we would have already been using something that's already this awesome, but there has not been anything developed, formulated like this in the history of the world. That's why I need you guys to understand how revolutionary this healing oil is. And in due time, the whole world will know how revolutionary my formulations are. But for right now, you know, we're growing and I'm grateful for that. But... Um, so there are other natural oils and things, even though it's natural, it does not work in synergy to heal. So those things are also going to prevent the healing oil from working, um, in synergy because they don't bind with my products. So I'm going to do this demonstration. Okay. So first we're going to do a demonstration with these two creams, right? Okay, so I'm going to apply this cream I showed you guys to the skin. And a thin layer, like you would anything else. And, you know, there are a lot of silicone-based creams that people use, that naturals like to use, but still the same thing. It's silicone-based. It's going to seal out. So can you guys see that? That's that layer. That's a layer of this eucerin cream that contains petroleum and mineral oil. Now I'm gonna put this aquaphor, which would be um, equivalent to a grease. So for eight, do grow any of those petroleum or mineral oil based products, okay? So this is the this is the um, clear petroleum, the aquaphor, and this is the eucerin. Now I'm going to try to apply my healing oil on top of that. Now I'm gonna have to take the phone and turn it down. Uh -oh. Turn it over. Oh, turn it the other way. How do I do it? Oh, I don't even think I can. Okay, well, let's do it like this. Well, I really can't pick it up. Okay, let's turn it down like this. Can y'all see that? That is not it. Okay, so this one is the um, eucerin. Do you see how the healing oil just sits on top of that? This one is the aquaphor. And I hope you guys can see that. So you see how the healing oil is just sitting on top of that? But this is where, now I'm gonna show you how, if I apply the just the healing oil to this, that's okay, what happens. I really hope you guys can see this. Like, look. Okay. Can you see the difference? That's what's happening to your scalp. That's what's happening on your scalp or skin if you are using things other than what I'm telling you to use. And like we are the biggest offenders of that. 
we fail to follow directions. Like, I don't know why people are like this, but it's like we think like the direct the directions can specifically tell you how to use a product to make it as effective as possible. And in our minds, it'll tell us um, not to listen. Nope. I'm going to do it my own way. I'm going to do my own thing. And that's why we don't get the results that we desire. Okay. So I really need you to understand this is, this is real. Like this is serious. Look at that. Look at those two. It's beating off. It beat it off and then drained into the paper towel. This is your skin. The healing oil absorbs. Anything before the healing oil is not going to absorb. You're doing yourself a disservice. Like, it's not penetrating. It's not taking. So if you want your skin and your scalp to heal, your skin and scalp needs to be 100% clean and free of other products. You can use other natural products. Some people say they use... As long as they are water-based, some people say they use aloe vera. Okay, aloe vera is going to do the same thing. It's going to penetrate because it's water-based. It's, it's basically 100% water. So anything that's water-based is okay to use. That's why when, when I see all of these people selling hair products that contain things like castor oil, jojoba oil, and things like that, and people say they work, I you know, I, I just turn my head the other way because I know that those are repellents. So all you're doing is basically coating your scalp with something that's not fully absorbing as it should. Okay, so I also have my, um, my moisturizer here. So my moisturizer is water-based. It's, um, aloe vera and um, coconut cream. So there's that line. I'm gonna smooth that in. It absorbed into that. I can't even see it or tell where it was. And then I'm also gonna put the healing oil on top of it. Look at that. They both absorb, like there's no beading. It's not going to bead off that. It's not going to bead. It's going to absorb one behind the other. So this is what I need you guys to understand. Like, my products work in synergy. Like, they're synergistically formulated to facilitate healing. And in order to facilitate healing, it needs to be able to actually reach the area that you're trying to heal Anything else is going to be counterproductive. Um, you're not allowing my products to penetrate, guys. So I really, 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 really need you to understand. And I was like that, too, before I learned all of these things. Um, you know, I would try something and I would do six or seven things at one time. You're doing yourself a disservice Synergy is real. Binding is real. Only certain elements and certain molecules bind to each other to, um, to work together to do what it's designed to do. So please, 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 please. It's real. It's real. It's real. It's real. It's real, guys. Can you all see that? It, it's real. It, this is real. Don't be this person. <laughs> Don't be that person. Like, do not. Do not be that person. Listen to me, guys. I know what I'm talking about. This is real. Like, and this this is the only thing that I've ever used in my life that has actually worked. So if this is all I use, guys, this and a water-based moisturizer is all I used in my lifetime that worked for me. Somebody that could not grow their hair at all after having um, a bad relaxer at four or five years old. If these are the only things that I used in my hair, you know, besides a good shampoo and good deep conditioner, 
and I managed to grow my hair in two years, like 24 inches. You guys have got to believe me and just trust what I'm telling you. That's all I used. You don't need to use everybody's growth oil. You don't need to use everybody's growth grease. You don't need to go into the beauty supply store and buy six or seven greases and oils. You don't need to do that. If you have these two items, your arsenal is basically full. Besides a shampoo and deep conditioner and whatever you use to style your hair with. And again, if you're only using these things, you don't need to continually wash your hair. That clarifying step is only to get the um, the unnatural base product off of your hair. Um, so after that, you're fine to continue using these. You know, one behind the other, every other day, that's fine. And then when you wash your hair, however you wash your hair, you pick right back up with these every other day that's fine and i promise you that consistency and that dedication is going to get you where you need to go you don't need to overdo it it's only a few drops per per section that's all that's all you need to do and i'm stressing this so much because i'm passionate about this and i need you guys to trust and believe what i'm telling you like do not do all of that stuff to your hair you can be growing up to one inch per month with just these two items you can do it with just this like, this is the only thing that you need on your scalp. <clears throat> That's it. And if you put anything else on your scalp in between time, make sure you clarify that off before you pick back up with your healing oil session. If you're not doing that and you're not seeing results, that's why. Like, don't use six or seven people's oils and they come to me and say, hey, uh, I've been using your stuff for, for six months and it didn't work. Those paper towels I just threw in the trash can, that's why it's not working for you. Because you're not listening. You're not following directions. Okay? That's why. So, don't don't try to come to me with, oh, it's a problem with the formula. No, it's not. It's a problem with you, sis. You're not listening. And I need you to listen to me. That's the only way that it's going to work. Okay? So, like I said, for two straight years, that is all I did on my scalp. And my hair strands, two synergistic formulations that absorb and penetrate into the hair and skin. So, you know, this is my last time begging and pleading with y'all about doing this stuff right because it's so easy. And I think that's a part of the problem because it's so easy. People don't believe it. They're like, oh, no, I, I got to do six or seven things at one time to make it work. And, that, and that's where we go wrong. Like, that's where we have gone wrong for years. We feel like, oh, we got to do this. You got to go to the moon and then you got to go to Mars and then you got to come back and then you got to do this. And then you got to mix up some voodoo and then do that and do that and do this and do that. And then your hair grow. No. It does not take all of that. You don't have to do all of that. You don't have to use six or seven. Keep it simple. Keep it simple. Kiss. It's so stupid. I mean, <laughs> it's so simple, but I, stupid came out because usually it's like keep it simple, stupid. But anyway, it's so simple. Like, don't overcomplicate it, please. Please, the people that are listening to me are getting the results. The people who choose to do it their own way and feel like they need to do X, Y, Z all at the same time, those are the people who aren't getting um, the fullest potential of their growth. So, like I say, stay consistent, use it as is directed, and just keep up with your regimen. And, you know, you'll see your hair start to grow and, you know, those growth spurts will hit hard and, you know, your hair will be crawling down your back or your afro will be this big. Like, just, just stay consistent and follow the directions and, and quit using all of this other stuff. It's detrimental. Like, you, you're hindering your progress because my products aren't absorbing. Okay, guys, you're, you're, you're sealing my products out. Okay, that's it.